the bill took 4,312 bottles, 30 bags of mortar, and 56 rolls of duct tape. Walls are coming up nicely and we've dug our drainage trench which is lined with weed fabric and it's going to be filled with gravel. The water will flow out from there into there and then it will be able to disperse throughout the ground as people take showers. We're putting up our netting for our compost hot water heater. It's going to go all the way around. It's going to go all the way up to the rafters. We got our initial cage up. Then we're going to also put weed barrier along the inside to go ahead and hold our compost pile so that we can wrap our 500 feet of tubing to make our compost hot water heater. All right, we've got our weed barrier up, ready to install our compost pile so that we can have our compost hot water heater. It's the entrance where we're going to bring in the wood chips and the horse manure. And we got our shower right over there. We're going to get six inches of just wood chips. And then after that, we're going to start laying the horse manure and wood chips and then start putting in our poly pipe every two inches or so to get 500 feet of poly pipe in here to create our hot water that we desire. All right, we're coiling our stuff through our compost pile. We're using Vegapex. So you see it's got the Vegapex connector right there. And we're going 100 feet across, putting a couple inches of compost, then connecting and then coming 100 feet back and we're gonna do 500 total feet. We're here in the garden where we finished the outdoor shower with the bottle walls. It's got a metal roof. Hooks to hang your garments after showering. Dual shower heads. It flows down into the planting bed. Got a privacy wall here. And nice cubbies to go ahead and hold all of your showering needs that have some light coming in through the top. And of course, some nice LED lights. They come off of solar that allow you to have light during the night. We've got the nice plants growing out front and the watering trough goes all the way around and these are all water loving plants as the water runs down it runs down on a flat surface into the grow bed and it keeps all of these plants watered and happy we also have the aquaponics pond in the back with our aquaponics running and growing all sorts of wonderful plants.
And this is the beautiful wall. Out of the shower, there is the jacuzzi, and then we also have the duck pond and the outdoor yurt, all of which is run off of solar. And of course, a composting toilet, all completely 100% off grid. Composting toilet, it's got a roof, it's got a fan, and it's solar powered. The solar power fan comes in here, all of the urine evaporates, and then we have black soldier flies in there that eat it up. Plus, it also, by the heat, is reduced by 70%, which turns into a black powdery substance, almost like dirt, which you can use for planting. Just like at your home. And of course, it's got the LED lights that run across, solar powered, so that you have lights at night. The yurt has a window AC and a wood stove.